These days, you're never more than a few posts or tweets away from seeing what the climate activists are up to. Whether it's them ruining one of Van Gogh's paintings or gluing themselves to expensive artwork, such news is everywhere. So much so that the infamous Joe Rogan has commented on it as well, and he's got a super harsh solution for them, which is what we're talking about in this video. Let's get started. First up, Rogan wants action against activists ruining artwork. Listen, we all feel a certain way about such standards but the internet's favorite podcaster took it a bit too far, as he often does. He took to Instagram to express his annoyance. He shared the news of climate activists gluing their hands to Goya paintings in the Prado Museum in Spain, and stated that this trend was so stupid that it made him want to burn tires and boil the ocean. Jeez, that's a bit too much, especially considering the paintings weren't damaged at all. Only the frames were slightly discolored, but the American commentator is super pressed about it. Next Next up, Rogan blames TikTok for these events. Well, most old people blame it for everything the young generation does, so at least he's acting his age with these comments. On his podcast, The Joe Rogan Experience, the 55-year-old mentioned that such acts were the symbol of the TikTok generation. He said that it was the symptom of all the nonsense young kids watched online, and these people were just trying to get attention with the least amount of work possible. Then, he went on to suggest that perhaps these activists should start cutting their arms off, because that would put an end to it. That's not a very nice thought now, is it? Following this, Rogan's comments on the Porsche incident. You've probably heard the news. Nine members of a group called Scientist Rebellion glued their hands to the floor of the Porsche Pavilion at Volkswagen's Autostad Museum in Wolfsburg. Of course, the protesters came with a number of requests, like support for capping the maximum speed on German highways to 100 km per hour, asking for Volkswagen to lower its carbon emissions, and cancelling debt and interest payments. On paper, this sounds like something Batman would do, except way less violent. But these acts haven't always received the best response from the masses. Even the staff at Volkswagen quietly recognized their right to protest and closed up shop for the evening, turning lights and heating off on their way out, an act Joe enjoyed very much. He stated, good for you, Porsche. The podcast host called such acts effing dumb. He said these kids thought they were fixing the world by gluing themselves to the walls. Moving Moving on, does Rogan support climate change? You'd think that he wants the world to go up in flames with these comments, but that's not the truth at all. He's all for it. The commentator talked about bringing change with Bridget Fitassi, but his actions weren't similar to the ones we've covered in this video. He mocked that these kids were trying to start a conversation through such acts when the conversation was already happening. His guest mentioned, and he agreed, that we shouldn't even be giving any attention to these people because they're not doing anything useful with their time. Fatassi stated that these climate activists should do something productive if they cared about the climate so much, like go clean up a beach. She said it would be moving to see them organize a worldwide beach cleanup day or something that actually created a change. Not this. What's more, Rogan calls out plastic recycling. All these snarky comments weren't just for these recent viral activists. The 55-year-old also pointed out that recycling was basically a scam. He mentioned that he went down a rabbit hole after reading that birds were swallowing bottle caps, and he found that most of the recycling done was complete He shared that even though people separated their recyclable stuff from the rest and used the proper channels, only a little bit of it actually went to good use. He said that it could work, but it doesn't. But if there was a financially feasible way of collecting all the plastic around the world and processing it for reuse, it would be great. The host shouted out the Pacific Garbage Patch as they are scooping up plastics and reusing them for items such as eyeglasses. And that was cool, but most of the single-use items were going to waste, which is why he stopped using them. He said his team didn't use water bottles anymore. Instead, they used a water filter and steel cups, and that was his way of contributing. Well, good for you, Joe. Lastly, how did people react to Rogan's comments? Well, you can probably guess. Comments under his video were flooded with people appreciating him talking about this. One fan thanked him for being so open-minded and not falling for such antics. Another expressed that such climate activists should be caught and jailed for their actions, as said behavior
behavior should not be accepted at any cost. Most of the comments on Joe's Instagram were also in support of him. One person stated that we were seeing stupidity at its highest level with such protests. Many fans asked Rogan to not give this much attention, as that's exactly what these activists were after, and it was our responsibility to deny them that. But folks, there are always two sides to each story. Let's talk about why Gen Z protesters are defacing works of art. First up, what is the climate change generation saying? Long story short, they're fed up with higher-ups talking too much, listening too little, and acting even less. So it's time for them to take control. Mitzi Violetta, an indigenous activist from Mexico, expressed that instead of talking about how to solve the climate crisis, these officials just negotiated how to continue polluting, and that wasn't enough anymore. She shared that youth movements were realizing that the solution wasn't going to be in international gatherings, like the Sharm El Sheikh climate change conference in Egypt. There needs to be more stern action regarding this before it's too late. Up next, the kids are tired of the inaction. It's worth mentioning that the climate crisis is getting worse every single day, with floods and fires all across the planet, and something needs to be done about it. A member of the environmental group Triage said that the young generation is upset that there's hardly any plan in motion to tackle this dire issue. Some activists mentioned that it was old people making decisions for the future of this planet that they won't be here to see. The newer generation should have a say in how they're going to live their lives. One protester explained that it wasn't very fair that they were labeled wrong for only wanting what's best for the environment, the people, and the future generations. How was caring about the planet bad? All the activists want is what's best for everybody around them. You shouldn't put a price on the future of our kids and their kids. Moving on, will these protests continue? Most of the climate activists recently in the news stated their strikes are effective, so funders and experts fully expect these actions to escalate. Margaret Klein Salomon, a clinical psychologist who runs the Climate Emergency Fund, shared that the team will continue to do whatever is non-violently necessary to bring change. Klein funded some of these protests and commented that her group was so passionate and everybody was powered by reality, so there's more to come. Some of these members are even as young as 14. 14-year-old 14 Truly Hort said that she had all these dreams and hopes for her future, but if things continued as they were, she wouldn't get to do any of them. She called out leaders for only talking about taking action, but never actually doing anything that makes a significant difference, especially in the long run. Finally, what's the end goal of these strikes? Well, a safe and healthy environment to live in, it's as simple as that. People on the internet have been berating these protests, but no one can deny that it's shed light on important issues. And that's exactly what they were trying to do. One activist said there was no use in making noise about action. People needed to be out in the streets demanding change. Aniva Clark, a 17-year-old activist from Samoa, pointed out that money didn't matter at all if there wasn't going to be a viable planet to live on. And that was the biggest issue in the world that hardly anybody was paying attention to, and that needed to change. Some protesters also expressed anger and hurt that the elite was planning trips to space and Mars routinely, but didn't contribute anything to the dying Earth. How was it okay that Jeff Bezos could take a flight to outer space because he felt like it? It might have worked in the past, but this young generation isn't going to stop at anything less than complete change and effective action to tackle climate change. And that's a wrap for this video. Do you agree with Joe Rogan's comments, or are the climate activists right to demand change? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.